wondering in this video, why did the Honorable Minister refer to Buhari as GCFR? It simply means Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic. That is a title that is attached to the President of Nigeria. So guys, you are welcome once again as we now roll into the video to get more information. Do you know you can now get in touch with the Minister of Transportation in Nigeria if you know he is not doing a job well done? And if you know as well you are happy as he has been performing as the Minister of Transportation, do you know that you can equally get in touch with him through an email? The answer is yes. So guys, let's roll into the video for you to know how to do that. Honorable Chibike Amechi releases his email solicit public opinion on the performance of the Ministry of Transportation. According to him, he said in his words, I am very grateful to President Muhammadu. Buhari, GCFR, for the opportunity he has given me to serve the nation as the Minister of Transportation. Note that Honorable Chibike Ameshi was a governor of River State for some couple of years, after which he now becomes the Minister of Transportation. So according to him, he said that our main focus as a ministry has been the revamping of dilapidated railway and moribund maritime sector, which are key means of transportation and major sources of revenue respectively. However, we understand the need for appraiser and so desire to know from the citizenry how we have failed, being that we are accountable to you. He's talking to the general public right now. Therefore, your feedback on the performance of the ministry thus far is important to us. We desire to know where you feel we have succeeded or are succeeding, where we should improve and or where you feel we are failing or have failed. It is our duty and desire to do better and keep improving. So he said that you guys, that is, he's talking to the general public, kindly email him at chibukeamechi. 128 at gmail.com which is displayed on the screen right now and he said he will be deeply appreciated the gesture he will deeply appreciate the gesture so this is coming from right honorable chibike amechi con honorable minister of transportation for federal republic of nigeria so lovelies it's high time now you have gotten the email, not the day for back, the talk talk. So he has given you guys email. Wherever you know that you are not happy about, do the needful. I hope the public will criticize constructively and also recommend and commend when necessary. So make a knock on the talk, say, uh, this government is not open, then shall. This government is this, this government is that. They have given you guys now the opportunity to communicate to him with that said email address I posted on the, the screen of this video. So, get in touch with him or through email or tell him the one when they pay you. If you know it's not doing well, he said it's welcome to criticism. If you know he did well at your area too, it's welcome to commendation. So, you commend him. If it's uh, okay at your side, if your side not good, Kwanu, talk your mind. The one when they pay you, make them not they hide, they kill yourself for backyard. They talking, but they pay you that. 
So this is an opportunity. Do an email to the Honorable Minister and I believe that uh, he will get back to you. He will reply, as they said. So this just uh, came out in this year, 2022. Though I've posted it on my community and I decided to do a video so that people can uh, also hear about it. So guys, thank you for always coming around to watching my videos. Uh, may God bless you real good. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As you can even hear from my voice, I'm not too sound. But I can't just help it. I need to keep my global audience updated on current affairs happening in Ubudu, Nigeria. So this video is uh, particularly for Nigerians. Those that reside in Nigeria and even those that reside in the diaspora, which I believe once in a while you go back to your country. So whatever you know you have seen in the last few four years, you travel to Nigeria, it's high time you email it to the Honorable Minister so that they can make amends. Let them know where they have failed and let them know where they have uh, um, done well as well. So they talk about monorails, they talk about uh, road transportation and all that. In this right up I just read to you in the sweats. So guys, I have come to the end of this video. And even as we roll into the video of people living with disability, in Nigeria. Federal Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy invites Nigerians living with disability to apply for a five-day empowerment program on digital skills and entrepreneurship. Guys, you are welcome. National Information Technology Development Agency need that is extending capacity development program to persons living with disabilities to promote the digital inclusive policy of needs that among the sector. The vision of the Honorable Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Professor Issa Ali Ibrahim Patani, he said that he has ensured that people living with disability will be empowered through information technologies with development of a critical mass of information technology proficients and globally competitive manpower. So according to him, it's empowering persons living with disabilities and he said that this event will be taking place in Port Harcourt, River State, Nigeria. It is scheduled for the South South. The Capacity Development Program is an annual program for persons living with disabilities. And their objectives are that they are going to train these persons living with disabilities and they will empower them as well to facilitate and enhance digital inclusion among the participants. To enable participants become competent in employing the tools of technology to enhance living and in discharge of their job requirements. What are their aims? He further said that to give enhanced participants digital literacy, internet research skills, and presentation skills. At the end of the training, participants will be provided with working tools and should be able to use it in creating sustainable employment. They too can empower 30 people living with disability with digital tools. They will also enable persons living with disability become self-reliant 
after the digital empowerment people with disabilities compensate at least in part for a limitation the technology assistive enables students with disability to compensate for certain impairments this specialized technology promotes independence and decreases the need for other supports so you might be asking who are those that we attend this program the program is open to all nigerians that are living with any form of disability residing within the south south region of nigeria it would focus on the clusters of persons living with hearing or speech impairment persons living with visual impairment and the physically challenged persons all applications received would be screened and only successful candidates will be contacted so guys the website you will visit will be displayed on the screen so you have to log and do the needful when you apply you'll see the title your son name first name other name date of birth gender contact phone number contact email address contact address state of origin highest education have you attended any needs that are you employed nature of disability special remarks then you submit your forms all right so guys that is that and for the phone numbers that you can call are as follows zero eight one six eight four one eight five one another one is zero eight four zero seven five two four two zero one eight nine the last is plus two three four nine two nine two zero six three so guys i wish you good luck even as you apply who should attend should apply now so the program is started already the application is on already being um tuesday 11th january 2022 an application closes tuesday 18th january 2022 at 12 midnight that is 12 o'clock in the middle of the night oh, that is when they will close the portal so guys i wish you good luck as you apply because it is a five-day empowerment program on digital skills and entrepreneur so invite nigerians living with disability to apply for this program any nigerian you know that have any disability impairment as i mentioned in this video please tell the person and when you check at the website you will see more detailed information of what to get if paraventure you are selected or should i say you are qualified for the program so this is coming from federal ministry of communications and digital economy with professor isa ali ibrahim patani that's the honorable minister of communications and digital economy and also with kasifu inuwa abdullahim director general and chief executive officer of nida you might be wondering what is nida it simply means national information technology development agency 
So they are the body that is organizing this program for those with disability living in Nigeria, precisely around the environs of the south-south part of Nigeria. And the venue, as I said, is Port Harcourt River State, south-south of Nigeria. So you can visit the website www.nita.gov.ng which we displayed on the screen shortly www.nita.gov.ng So guys, that is the website to fill in your application form and submit. I wish you good luck even as you apply for this program. I will see you in the next one. God willing. God bless Federal Republic of Nigeria. God bless President Muhammadu Buhari.